Good evening. Thank you for being here. I would like to uh, take care of a couple of questions. Uh, uh, the answers, hopefully, will be good for everybody. Uh, uh, the first question is, is there a place where awareness and experience intersect? Okay, is there a place where awareness and experience? Let's uh, look at this uh, old drawing with new additions. Let's say this is the experience place, this full unit character, the ensemble, choose your own words, this functioning unit. Okay, uh, so that's an experience. Now, uh, if something new comes in, this can shoot up really fast. Boom, shoots up to an idea about what just happened. You can go a little bit further and go into a little more awareness. And in a certain way, why I have the eyes there, you kind of turn and look and you want to study, really understand the experience, what went on. Uh, okay, so, so he's asking, uh, is there a place where this and this intersect? Yes, you have to come back to here. Okay. So let me see if I can explain that better. Uh, so you're not going to get an intersection up here. Okay, too much awareness. Uh, so you have to come back. Uh, now what's happening? Uh, and I tried to show you, in fact, I'll go over a couple of simple things we've done in reference to, to this. Uh, so you've got a set, okay? Something comes in and bumps you a bit. Okay, boom, you're gonna think about that bump, why you got bumped, what they're doing to you. Uh, you could even go out further and be aware of it, all right? But let's look at, you got bumped, and really instantly, you're aware of the bump, it's already kicking down to its partner, the stuff of creation, this is the idea of mental part of creation, its counterpart is the stuff of creation, uh, they would call that mind body, but I don't like the word body. You'll kind of misunderstand. So I'm going to call it stuff, the stuff of creation. Uh, and that stuff response. So here to here to a response. Then we're back to here. That's the intersection place. Did I say that all right? An idea? Something happens. You get an idea about it or you go heavy into awareness. It's more of an idea. Uh, but later you get a little faster, you get bumped, and almost instantly you're aware of it, and instantly it's touching its counterpart who feeds back energy and mixes up a better unit. Is that, is that sort of okay? I'm checking with my people. Is that sort of okay? Now, when I was trying to show the simple of, of that was, you ready to sit, stand for a moment? Yeah. I'm trying out my pointer. Uh, okay, so what I had to do once upon a time was just to start to get you a sense of this. I present an idea or an idea is presented. I would like to stand better. And I'll leave that open for what better means. Could be stronger, could be more beautiful, could be uh, with style and grace. I'm, so I'm leaving that open. I'm not fine-tuning that. I would like to stand better. Now, that mental message is sent to its partner that is the stuff. So it gathers and it comes through here. Okay? All right? And knowing how my body was before this, I already noticed an improvement of body. So the idea, I'd like to stand even better feeds down to this, let me call it pool of energy for a while. Pool of energy, which heard the message from the partner and says, okay, dear, boom, boom, here I come. And it pours up and through the system, okay? At which time you're a better standerer. So, so the fullness of this character is a bit better. 
also the harmony of the idea to the energies, energies responding back to the idea in that harmonious mix helps create a better you. You're not Bobby anymore, soon you'll be a Robert. And because there's more balance, the core self, the true self that's here someplace, has a little more room to start to come alive and show that it's there. It's always there, but we've washed it down kind of small uh, since the beginning of creation. Anyway, uh, but as you get this harmony, this is one of the benefits too. It's sort of a misogi, a better sense of self eventually. Okay, so you get a better character, a Robert instead of a Bobby. You get a better, and the character is a standerer. So you get a better standerer. Okay, uh, so, um, so the meeting point would be here because of this to that and that to this. Boom, there's the meeting point. Let me check with my troops here. You like that? Okay. Uh, now, where we kind of screw that up is, remember the word stations when we did the eye run? These sort of become, back to my pointer, these sort of become like stations. So you get bumped and that uh, information is sent here, okay? But then sometimes we sort of get stuck there. Oh, let me continue to think about that. And in an Aikido class, I'm going to bowl your ass over because you ain't here anymore. You're, you're up in that. Okay. Or you'll shift over and be a, sort of an intellectual, more aware of it, more aware of it, more aware of it. I wish I'm a really bitch. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's nice, but I call that coffee shop talk. We can muse and all of that in the coffee shop, but we're on the map now, okay? So, uh, so try not to get, realize what these are uh, is just, uh, you don't have to take up a residence there. On a quick bump, quick response, bing, bang, boom, okay? And faster than I could say it. Uh, let me see if I can tell a story here. I, I don't remember the story exactly, but I remember Jack Wada telling me a story. I'll make it up anyway. Uh, he's going off the road down a steep uh, cliff type thing. And all this is happening instantly, you can imagine. And so he's aware that that just happens. He's aware of the situation or awareness of the situation is just there. You don't have to study it. You don't have time. You're in a car that's going off of a cliff here. Okay, but that's awareness calls a message to the stuff and the stuff come up and said to him, hit that tree. So he pointed it a bit so he could hit a tree, which stopped the car from going, continuing down that long cliff thing. That was an instantaneous move. He didn't think about it, mull on it. Now it was bing, bang, boom. It just sort of happened. And then any of you that have been in some kind of a, uh, unexpected accident type thing. It probably had a similar response where things were clearer and you were very aware. How could they be clearer? Because you got so much energy, it shifted you into a different dimension and you saw things clearer. Of course, guys on the battlefield, I was talking about their senses, just wow. Uh, they can see and hear things like never before. Uh, anyway, so where is the meeting point? Here. What's it trying to do? That half of the creation to this half, both of those are in harmony. Boom, there we are again, but at a better level. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go over that in a different form. Katya, I'll bore you. Uh, what do I want to do here? Okay, uh, two hands. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Here, there you go. Uh, two hands pushing up. Okay. Now, okay, wait. Okay, so I'm going to get a little more centered. Centered, centered. And suddenly she grabs me, squeezes in that case, and pushes. Okay. This is a new happening. Let me think about that. Why is she pushing harder? Don't waste time there. 
it's like your system is aware she's pushing up a little bit harder. And click, click, a little better center. Yeah? And she agrees. Oh, okay, you you got that? Let's do it one more time, but in a different manner. So I'm more centered. I'm playing with centered. Okay. I feel sort of centered. Now, out of nowhere comes... Da, da, da. Boom! In that instant, the awareness is aware of this. And in that instant, that to this response is that. Okay? Whereas with that diagram, it's I'm centered, suddenly this happens, and so, whoa, why is that happening? Why is she doing that to me? Have I been a bad boy today? And God, God is angry? On and on and on and on and on. Which has nothing to do with the law of boom, bang, bang, boom. Okay? The law of harmony. The law of mind-body harmony. Okay? All right? Uh, where did I want to go with that? Yeah, another question. Yeah, let's see. Uh, okay. <clears throat> um, maybe another little story. I had to do a workshop in, uh, Aikido workshop in the Netherlands. And the guy there uh, who ran the dojo, I think, was a nice dojo, was also a big man in the mindfulness movement. At that time, I didn't know what that meant, mindfulness. But he was a big man in that organization. So when I first met him, I said, I think we're going to have a problem. Because my view on mindfulness was uh, awareness. And I said, I'm going to really denounce what you guys are doing. And he caught on to what I was saying. And he said, oh, no, no. It's a misunderstanding. We're not aware of. We're mindfulness, meaning we're here having an experience. And we're just aware of the experience. And I went, oh, okay, no, no problem then. So then I began to understand what more what mindfulness was trying to do. But he did agree it was a lousy word, mindfulness. So he did agree with me. That's not a good word. But he said, that's the word that they use, so you've got to live with it. Okay, so I was going to jump him for being mindful when he meant no, mindful hangs out here experiencing uh, what's going on, mindfulness. Okay, cute story. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if I answered this one before, but he said, uh, uh, can the energy from above and below, uh, to can you use the energy from above and below to bounce off each other? And I may have covered this one before as well. I don't consider them bouncing off each other. I consider them dialoguing with each other. I say, hey, I would like to stand better. That soaks into the pool. The pool feels it, and the pool's energy responds. Okay? It's a nice teamwork. All right? Uh, did I ever tell the story? A famous author, don't know who, but a famous author, Somebody was interviewing him and said, where do you get the imp impetus to write? He says, well, I come home. My wife says, honey, we need a new rug. He said, I sit down and write. Well, on the story, it's a cute story. Okay. She presents a situation, honey, we need a new rug. He needs money. So he comes up with the energy to write to get money to buy the new rug. That's a nice relationship. <laughs> okay, I was like that, sir. All right. <clears throat> Another question. Uh, curious about the levels below the Earth's surface uh, that we discuss in the downtime classes. And he's saying perhaps around the third floor of under, there may be liquid gold. Okay. Question, is it possible to absorb that gold gold without trying too hard? And what do you do with it? Okay, well, I'm going to jump all over him for what What do you do with it? Well, you, you don't do anything with it. If you're settling down and you bump into, let's call this a quality. So you go through the first eh, of energies and 
protect against equality, in this case, a gold sense. You sit with it, you melt into it, I'm making up words here, get the sense of it. Uh, you absorb it and you feel what that does to your system. Soaking in gold, being affected by the gold. Let me think about that. Don't go there. Soak in it. Sense, feel it. Sense, experience it. And now you have a bit of gold in one, or at least gold leaf. And you check yourself as a character there. You mixed up with the addition of this golden flavor. What's your sense of anything? Who are you? Am I off the top on something like that? My wild guess would be uh, a little more. Let me see, I might be a hair sight right there. Actually, I'm also trying to do him. That he has value, he should value himself. And that's the beginning. Okay, of valuing yourself. Have a better sense of yourself. Value yourself and other people will see value in you. I think that's the beginning of something like that. Okay? Uh, my wild guess. Uh, be careful of the word gold because in the big picture of creation, uh, there is such a fine level of gold that's not this third level. So that's why I inferred that by calling it gold leaf. Okay, uh, that there is an eventual, very, very, very original in the universe that'll start to show gold. Uh, so don't take these first ones and say, oh, I've arrived, I'm golden. I've got no more place to go, I've arrived. Uh, use it, soak in it, take advantage of it, let it mix, uh, but don't go too crazy with it. You haven't arrived at the end of the universe here. Okay. Uh, so that's what I do with it. Uh, I can't get into this one. Do you have conversations with Sensei? How does that work? Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Not for our discussions here. Uh, memories of George Leonard. I found this cute story. Uh, George and Michael Murphy, uh, the founder of Esalen, uh, they were buddies and they uh, rap with each other and, and help each other write books, whatever. Uh, and they were at, a, I don't know, it was a TV station or a radio station or something. And Arnold Schwarzenegger was there. So here's George and Michael bouncing off ideas about what they're playing with. And eventually the uh, spokesperson, the moderator, said to uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, you have something to say? And he looked at George and Michael and said, I do what they're talking about. Feel that. I thought that was so great. Arnold, I do. I practice. I experience what those guys are talking about. <laughs> great. I love that. Anyway, so no more stories about George. Okay. All right. I, does, does that do it for that? Do we cover that sort of? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the one that was promoted. Uh oh. Stuck. Stuck. Hang on. The tape got stuck. A moment. Ooh. There. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we have dimensions. That's a dimension. Then that's a dimension. Then that's a dimension. Uh, in a certain way, if we do a one by, two by, three by, we're we're playing with it in a dimensional game. Okay. I've touched on this pattern before, but you can't go wrong going over basics and really, really getting them down. Uh, so tonight, for a while here, we're going to talk about uh, sub, sub dimensions. So first, we'll use the body uh, form. Okay. 
So uh, be ready to stand. Okay. So here we are. I want to get a full one. Okay. So, uh, Katja, maybe I'll bore you. Uh, if you don't have a partner, just make believe you got something to touch there. A cross hand behind me on this there we go okay so the beginning of uh one to two sub dimension the hand the hand is important the hand is important the hand the hand is important now you people who don't have an inner sense will go more on that and then you'll get thicker wrist and say did you feel that thick wrist and you continue and continue and I scream, pull my hair off. Uh, that'll get stronger, but in a different way. So following the sub dimensions, what's before the hand? Well, we could go here or here, but let's go shoulder hand. Now careful, because, oh yeah, shoulder. I, I'm, I know what a shoulder is. Feeling it easy. Body, body. Feel the shoulder. Oh, shoulder. Feel the shoulder, feel the shoulder, shoulder, hand. Okay, again, settle, feel the shoulder. I know you know what a shoulder is. Easy, some of you can say it in three different languages. I know. Easy, feel the shoulder. Settle the shoulder, shoulder, hand. Okay. <clears throat> We're going through sub-dimensions of this first dimension of full body eventually, hopefully. Okay. <sighs> what precedes that? Again, I could slice it thinner, but let's say a fuller upper back. Again, we have an idea about the back, but the actual <sighs> back, 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 back hand, back shoulder hand. Okay. Back, back. Back, back, shoulder hand. Okay, back, shoulder hand. I'm going through sub-dimensions of the body. That's a form that I like. Okay. Next, something about the hips. Okay, now again, oh yeah, I know what hips are. Easy, feel, hips. I'm checking to see if they're move hips, 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 back hand. I can't say hips. Back, shoulder, hands, so I'll skip a couple along the way. Easy again. Hips, actual. Hips, actual. Okay. Now, I know I didn't push any harder. Why she got affected more was because this unit is getting a bit fuller. The unit with hips apparently affected her more. Did I say that okay? Easy. Then I change the pattern a little bit i go down to ground feet it's like i get to a certain level and then i go down to feet and sort of come back the other way hope that's not confusing okay feet down down to feet or ground this this basic ground feet ground okay. easy feel feet on the ground feet ground ground feet Back hand, feet, back hand. Okay. <clears throat> Are doing long form uh, feet, hips, back, shoulders, hand. I just can't see where it's at. Easy, easy. One more time on feet. Easy. There we go. Had a nice flavor to it for me. Wasn't I got her? The flavor here was nice. I mean, nicer feeling about this physical system. Okay, then uh, feet, knees, and thighs, hip would naturally come come in. Feet, knees, foot to the knee, to the hip, da 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 would naturally come. Uh, so in Aikido, can you move over a bit? I don't know if you can see my feet. Uh, so in Aikido, that would tell me something is off. Because if they're really feet, the ground would naturally support the knee. You wouldn't get that. That knee is going to go bad soon. Okay? Foot knee. 
unless we were doing a different fighting style, in which case it would set up a bit different. We're not doing that style, we're doing that style. Okay? Now, ah, so I use the body parts as sub dimensions. Okay? Is that clear enough to my uh, uh, clear? Okay. And uh, this having a fuller body sort of that way, that'd be good for anybody doing physical things, especially. If you were a golfer, I'd present that format to you. If you were a baseball player hitter, I'd present that to you. Uh, so for anything physical, that's a pretty good model. Um, why is it important other than physical? Uh, because the better, the fuller this system is, means more balance. You're better centered. This balance of uh, body and the first energy that you probably can't feel that balance out with it. Uh, there's a harmony there. And anytime you get any degree of harmony, you're going to get a better I self, the core of you. It's a little bit freer and can start to eventually show itself as the important piece that it is. Uh, remember, it's sort of wound in tight. And by doing certain practices like balance, uh, the winding unwinds. We're unwinding when we do things like that. And that makes this core self, truer self, okay, uh, easier to be present active because it's not wound in tight, okay? Everyone has a core self or a soul self, but a lot of people are wound in so tight, uh, hard press for them to uh, explain it now, express it, okay? Uh, you can go into real tight, that type of crazy there. Uh, but the self isn't crazy, okay? The self, as we unwind, gets clearer and clearer and clearer, and that's me so deep, okay? The clearing of self so it can move into a better self. So anything we do that's balanced, anything we do that gives us a better center, anything mind to body, body, mind, anything like that, is the unwinding process, making this miso be easier and more natural, okay? Now, let's say we've covered with a pretty good body that, I know there's something more I want to say about it. If you have a better sense of your body, let me see how to do this. If you have a better sense of your body, okay, knowing a fuller body is better centered and the self is a, a bit better, uh, then I, I don't want a body like this if I can help it. I'm getting to that stage age, but I, I, I don't like it, <laughs> okay? Uh, that if I found myself this way uh, and I got the time and the interest, I'll go, ow, settle down, open up. So more of the body parts can kick in. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, because a fuller body, better centered, the core will be better, therefore my view, my attitude, my reactive capability, all will be better, okay? Uh, this guy, if somebody says something nasty to him, he, he's going to soak it in somehow. Uh, I don't know. Like if you uh, bitch at an old man, he'll probably yeah, do something like that. He'll pull it in. Boom. 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 I hear what you're saying. And if I were, if you... If I were younger, I'd kick your ass. Uh, but anyway, you're at a different level. Okay? Did you follow any of that? Okay. So, uh, a fuller body is more important. An experienced body is more important than a lot of people know. Because they, oh yeah, I know about bodies. I, I have a body. Uh, they don't really feel it. Uh, so I go back to, uh, what was those guys? Uh, mindful if they mean aware of what this thing is feeling and all of that and i say great piece of work keep it up that brings us into the second potential dimension okay and we're going to go through subs 
on that dimension also. Oh, this is where I told uh, Nande, uh, Dariga, Yoshika, sorry, <laughs> don't use too many Japanese names lately, Yoshika. Uh, I thought she did a good job here because she talked about main physical body parts that were activating in her period of walking, whatever it was, a couple of weeks, whatever, that these main body pieces kicked in and were active. And I said, oh, good piece of work. Now, don't stop there because you did a good job here. How do we know? Because you got a pretty full body walking coordinated uh, all in their proper order. Now we got this whole section. If you're interested, you'll continue walking and you'll be more open. Now, this section is energies, how to say it, energies that you can feel through the body. Don't know if that's the right wording, but they're energies you can feel through the body. You're getting ready to stand. On this one, I think I might like to have an open mic because I might want to hear as we go from sub to the next sub to the next sub of energy flowing through the body. Akasha, maybe I'll bore you. And uh, Sensei, whenever you want people to speak to you, just uh, ask them to speak out. Well, uh, just a quick word or short two or three uh, as we get into an experience. Okay. Now, first, I'm still in the physical one. So take a moment, easy, settle. <sighs> Moving into this next dimension easy and the next dimension energies flow okay at first i don't quite notice although i just noticed my fingertips were warmer and i noticed a little clump in my shoulder okay so i want to move better more fully out of uh the body realm into this energy through the body realm easy settle sense of opening you're in a different realm now this is energy through the body. There we go. It felt straighter. Uh, I don't say it's long, but it's a little bit longer than my fingers denote. Uh, it's not full. I feel little breaks and cracks in there, but I got something. Okay, easy, settle. We're in this uh, two to three, okay, two to three. Easy, and we're going sub-dimensional next. Easy, easy. In this realm, energy flowing through the body, okay? This definitely feels a bit straighter, definitely feels a bit longer, okay? There's no question, it's longer. Uh, can you think that? Can you feel it? Say something intelligent for the crowd. <laughs> Okay, it's like more expressive out there, and I didn't notice the depth. It's coming from deeper. That's nice feedback. Thank you. Good to have a, a good partner. Sometimes I call them spotters. They can scan you and see if you're missing something, or if you should take advantage of something a bit more. I call them spotters. Now, with your mics open. Ah, where are you at this? We're in a energy level that you can feel through the body and at room. Okay. I feel fuller. Hello out there? Yes, anyone who wants to give feedback, so, please. More present. Okay, go. It feels Come integrated. On. Yeah. More present. More support. Starting to get more fuller because you feel more support for this. So something extra is coming into play other than energy through my arm. Uh, something more supportive is coming in to make uh, two to three fuller. Good. And somebody? Cleaner. Less noise in the body. Less noise in the body. Flowing through cleaner? Yes. You've just been rotor rooter Yep. No Should obstruction. So. Should be so. Yeah. Well, reason we practice is to open these channels, if you would, so that if there's an emergency, wow, it's there a hundred percent because we've cleared the channels or practice in the summer. So it's there in the winter, clear the channels in the summer. And if there's an emergency, you're right there. You're right there fully. Okay. So 
take a break here. Easy, easy. I'll check back with you in a moment. We're still doing sub-dimensions. Easy. So I kind of keep a running list. Or uh, That was pretty amazing. His arm was fully outstretched. I showed that weight. My experience has been noted. So as I continue, easy here. Next sub-dimension. I don't know what it is. I just open. Next sub-dimension. Okay. And Katya, for this practice, you don't have to grab me. I have to do a little receptive. I don't want to do receptive right now. In fact, maybe I don't even need you. <laughs> okay. Again, easy. Energy. I can't even say energy through the arm anymore. But I feel it also coming up through my body. But highlighting the arm. Definitely longer. Feels stronger. It feels like the material here. It's not. It's, it's just a stronger material. If it was a cardboard, like a paper towel roll, uh, the inside of a roll, uh, it, it feels much stronger than that. I don't know the materials. Usually I can tell, but I can't quite tell. Some kind of metallic, but I can't tell. Somebody? There's no obstruction. Okay, again, one of the major obstructions is the eye trying to see how it's going or whatever. So easy, clear the eye. So this is just allowed to happen. You don't need an eye in there dictating. Uh, remember, tight eye questions. A tight eye uh, is negative. Well, what word do I use? Uh, negative. Critical? Critical, that's the word I use, yeah. And that's a tight eye getting involved in it. Easy the eye. Natural. Let this let this happen. Easy. Don't be too fast on did it happen? How did it happen? Don't don't be so fast on going there. Stay with the experience. Stay with the experience. Okay. Right. Last one, I think. Easy, easy. Okay, we're at two to three. And this is where the energy. You can feel through the body. Okay. Now, in my case, I know it's flowing through fuller because I could feel a flow through here that felt even and balanced and kind of full. And how's the arm doing? Flowing through the arm. Very straight. In fact, very long. I can't you come hold me without attacking me. There. Can you feel how long it is? Did you say something? Yeah. Okay. It's not an arm. I'm going to be holding arm. I'm somehow connected to a long line. Uh, yes. There's a long line here, and she's connecting to it. Okay. But it's not an arm arming her. It's this long thing that she happens to be holding. Enthusiast. Years ago. Huh? Hold a second. Years ago, I used to try to explain that about energy flow. I say, well, this is like a cable. And if you're in the, if you have a cable and there's electricity flowing through, if she squeezes the cable, the electricity doesn't stop. It continues to flow. So at this level is where the cable, uh, electricity flowing game came from. That's what a flavor is like. She can squeeze all she wants, but this energy, this electricity, is going to the next town. <laughs> You're, she's not going to stop that here. Okay, somebody? Energy you can feel through the body. Anybody out there? Did we lose our audience? I think we're all here, Sensei. It just uh, uh, people are okay. uh, thinking okay. of okay. questions. So. Yeah. Get off stage. Yes, somebody. Enthused. Energy being free to move. Yeah, I might set to smile there. I yeah. think you'd be more enthused, okay? Yep. And always, uh, of course, be aware if, if you're being pushed. If you're not open enough, that more energy <laughs> might start to push you, okay? So make sure you, you keep opening this so the energy 
creates a fuller and not pushes, right? Basic, basic. So you should be well versed on being pushed. We've done that before. But if you're being pushed open a bit more, it doesn't want to push you. It wants to mix up a better level character you. It doesn't want to push you. But if you're small, you're in the way. It's not personal. You're in the way. So I settle and open so it can just flow through. And I check and see if I weigh any any degree. <laughs> okay. Did we cover that pretty good? Let's take a break and see where we're at. Okay. Ah. So are we okay with uh, energies? We can keep the mics open, I guess. Are we okay with en uh, energies that you can feel through the body? Are we sort of okay with that? Yep. And Sensei, are you asking for people's yes. comments and questions? Open mic, any, anybody? Well, just with that piece, energies through the body. Is that, that okay? Clear enough? Sensei, it, it helped that we started out with a good body package to begin with. Yeah. And that made it yeah. a lot easier to work yeah. with the next dimension. Yeah. And that's a basic, by the way, uh, that very important basic. Uh, have everything you can get here. So when you move into the next one, everything potentially moves into the next one and everything naturally moves into the next one. Uh, this is kind of important. Now, Sensei was uh, sort of on that, that when you start your first set, uh, uh, really be, I forget what word to use, something like really be squared away or do it up proper, don't be half-assed there. Uh, because if you start half-assed, you're gonna move into, finer but you're going to be half-assed and eventually you get spun out in a weird way uh be as squared away as you can be even with something as simple as a fuller body okay later you can get very fast at that uh that me doing subs aren't meant to slow you down um, how, to, how to say that uh that later when you get a sense of a fullness let me see uh so let's say I'm in a physical exam, shut it down, uh, and suddenly something happens. Hey, boom. Now, I don't know if that's the best body going, but from this guy, hey, to that guy, uh, I went through those subs, ping, very fast. So you'll have that ability. Don't worry about speed now, because there'll be a tendency not to feel the fullness of each. And you'll really kind of skip it and be half-assed and continue half-assed. And half-assed doesn't work after a while. You'll half-assed, you'll get spun off. You'll get off your mission, off your main highway. It won't help, okay? So uh, don't mind us on these first few to uh, double uh, double check, to do something like, like that, uh, something like that. Make sure you're... You're fuller because a good fuller leads into the next good fuller. Hopefully that showed up in the one by to two by to three by. I tried to bring that up to, to make sure you were fully there. That's why in, for example, the two by, I, uh, oh, I, I used the, the trick there. Uh, what do you like in a two by? Dot, dot, dot. Now, what don't you like in a two by? What I was trying to do was to hopefully make sure you were there feeling it and you felt the things you liked and you felt the things you didn't like. That clued me in that you could do that. You were fully there. And being fully there, you could move into a three by. Okay, so that was one of my tricks. All right. Ah, uh, then, uh, Eventually, as we, uh, I think we're finished with this. I just wanted to touch on these, but somebody's going to ask me what four by four is like. Ah, uh, maybe a moment. We got a moment. Patrick, can I borrow you just for a, a, a reference? Okay. Hold it there. Bed, you're going to move. Okay, the next level. So we did body. Easy. Energies through the body. Uh, now, this is where I uh, begin to see. Go ahead. She's reaching. Okay. 
because energy through the body, I begin to, oh, feel her energies a bit better. I feel her intent a bit better. Okay? But the next one, the uh, three, what would I do on a three? I didn't pre-practice this, so let's check. Three. Okay, I just have a sense of, I just have a sense that there's a, a field around her, or a, <clears throat> her whole thing is a field. I'm not quite there yet, but at least there's a sense of a field around her. Make your move. Oh, and it's going to go that way. Okay. So in this level, I'm not, I don't think I'm feeling those energies. Remember the uh, uh, two to three was energies that you could feel through the body. These energies, I'm not sure if I feel them. Let me try that again. I sense them. I sense feel that she was going to move in there a little bit. I sense felt that. I don't know if that's feeling or whatever. So there might be, uh, so words might be a little hard as you move from one to the next to really delineate. Okay, so I'm trying to get some words for you as examples of in a three sub. First, I sense her more than her physical body. I sense her, her a little more like a feet. I sense her intent and where it's going. In that case, she went straighter. I sense that. Did I feel that? I don't know. I, I sensed it. I sense felt it. And my body seems to move. I don't remember telling my body to move. I don't think I did. I think at this level in the three plus plus, three plus plus, that this movement took into how she was, how she came in, and was already decided on that it's going to move this way to blend with her, harmonize with her. Uh, so there's a touch on the three heading towards four. Uh, again, I didn't double check it before tonight, so bear with me. Uh, but that's how to play the game. And you would note the sub ones by noting what you notice first. Oh, I felt her hand reaching for my heart. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Okay. And continuing three next, what do I notice? Yeah, I saw that again. Yes, I already said that one. And, oh, there's a sense I can feel her getting ready. Yeah, I felt her, like, gathering her forces before. And that meant you've decided to move. That's what that was about. Easy. So I'm starting to be able to call the shots. Oh, she's moving now. Oh, she's moving now. That you begin to get this pre-sense. And I would note that, and I'd continue. Find her in this dimension, and then see what crops up. And if it's the same old one, I okay, so noted. But next, find her. And then it'll get clear what the, what the next sub-dimension is. Okay? Yeah, you got the game? Whew. Okay. Okay. Ah. Here, let me show you an old time trick. Ah! Old time trick. Sitting two hands. Let's see. I don't know if, if you want to do open mic, that's okay. We'll see. Okay, first, we're in this uh, body one. They okay, settle the body. Uh, these are left and right hands of the body. Okay, they're hands. Their hands. I uh, want to get a little tighter in there. I'm moving my hands. I, I, I. Okay, easy, settle. In the physical, hands move. Don't touch, but very, very close, slowly, slowly apart. Now we're settling past the physical dimension, I hope. Soon we'll be in the energy that can be felt through the body dimension. Uh, if you want open mics here, this is going to be okay to do that. Ah, easy, easy. So we're playing in in here. Okay, physical, yes, yes. Now, next, 
energies slow, slowly apart. Could you sense anything going on talking energies? Heat. Heat, okay. You felt heat. Okay, now somebody may talk about their hand heat. I say, oh, that's a sign of energies moving. Okay, continuing, settle, easy. Yeah. Finer dimension, these two things are moving close together and slowly moving apart. Slowly together. Feels very uh, like much like a magnet. Like they're yeah. when it's closer, there's kind of a, a little feeling. Yeah. It's harder. Yeah. Kind of magnetic. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of a, a repulsion there to get close. As it gets yeah. closer, it's harder to push together. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a bit of a magnetic sense there. Okay. So you're starting to feel uh, through the body the energy realm. Let's continue. Easy. Ah, energy realm. In fact, to make it easier, don't look at the hands because there'll be too much body's eyes. Easy. Uh, and to help trick you into a better level of this, they used to be hands, but they're not hands anymore. So don't look at the hand. The hands aren't there anymore. But two things are moving towards each other getting close, slowly moving apart. Again, two things are moving closer and closer and slowly moving apart. Now, what do you feel in the energy body or two to three level? Like beams of oh. light between the hands. Oh, he's looking. Okay, you're ahead of me, by the way. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Some, some, somebody, anything about presence? What? First, there like was I get out of a pile of something, like a pile of leaves, and I'm squishing it between my hands a little bit. Okay, so there's something here, and her first sense of something here is just like a pile of leaves. I would say, yeah, the energies are meeting here, and you're starting to feel the fuller of the energies. Energy isn't an idea; it's an actual. She's starting to feel the actual of the energy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was the other word I forgot? Person before said. Presence. Presence. As, as you get more balance, there should be more presence. So, yeah. So we're back to uh, more balance. Should uh, point out, or you possibly can also notice, you are better centered, uh, or your breathing is a little bit different. As we get balanced with these, uh, then the uh, more of the system is affected by that. So same thing I sort of said before. Already connected. Already connected, yeah. Okay, so they're connected. When they're wide apart, you can feel the connection. And when they're close together, you can feel the repulsion. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I so can far apart, you feel the connection. Uh, and in Aikido, uh, if, okay, take that one for a moment. In Aikido, at this level, although we're far apart, uh, <laughs> although we're far apart, <laughs> I can feel the connection. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And even better than that, I can feel the connection and that she's going to turn. So I assist her in turning because I felt she was turning. She's coming in straight now. Give me a little touch of a turn so I can. Uh, it's too straight. Do you understand turn? <laughs> These foreigners, you got to teach them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Anyway, so, so yeah, so in Aikido, being at this level, I'm already sort of ahead of the game because you felt the energies touch very early in a certain way. I don't know if you felt them, but you're aware. There, she's, her hand actually connected with my hand. At that moment, there, she was committed to hit me here. She already said, 
there. So she said that very early in the game. Okay. Remember a new person does something like, like this. Oh. And then you do it 50 times and they say, oh, at the 51 time. You do it 110 times. You know what they say at 111? Oh. <laughs> uh, they're not changing dimensions. They're staying in this uh, thicker level of themselves saying, oh. <laughs> After a while, it's, oh, she's coming in. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you all right? Uh, thank you. Uh, so. Anyway, so I'd like to practice Aikido from a finer dimension. It's inner work. There I am a student of Osente. It's inner work that manifests out to the outer. But where you keep screwing up is you get enhanced by the outer. And, and you might touch inner for a moment. Outer gets better and that's it. You're off on outer, and then you want to do more outer, and you want thicker wrists in the outer. You want to hit them stronger in the outer. You want to be a little bit faster in the outer. Uh, but you're going outer. It's not that anything's wrong with thicker or faster, but not that way. <laughs> it's an inner. An inner can get very fast, but not you being fast. So that's where I pull my hair up, okay? Inner dimensional is the journey. Well, since they told you a million times in a million ways, who's listening? Ah, I don't want to get into that. It's too sad. Uh, where are we? Ah. Whoop. Damn, time goes by. Uh, okay, quickly, standing. This one you've done before, but let's do it now in this context. Here we are again. Uh, Okay, first up to one or two, just check. Okay, so there's a physical arm raises. Settle, open. Now, again, I want you in two to three and uh, keep notes as to the sub-dimensions that we're going to go through, uh, especially if you're alone. One way of remembering those is to say them out loud, for example. Ooh, arm felt lighter. So now that's been noted or put in a notebook. If I just think about it, it could fade very fast and I forget my own pattern. So one trick is to say it. When you have a sense of something, say it. Sometimes I'm not sure. So I say, I'm not sure, but it feels like this. I think maybe this is happening, but I'm not sure. But I say it. There seems to be something important in, in that. I'll fine tune that one day. Settled? Open? arm. Okay. Now, in the energy through the body, arm. It seemed to float up a bit better. Easy. Settle. Sub-dimensions. Easy. Next level. Easy. Next level. Yeah. Definitely it floated up better. And there was a lot of tingling in my palm. Oh, I've got to go back to the handsy thing. Can you remind me? I want to get back to what you said. Yep, yep. Easy, easy settle. Ah. Easy, sub-dimension. Easy, easy. Interesting. I don't know what to say about it, but it floated up with a different sense than the earlier float. I don't have the words right now. And that tingling is going on still, but a stronger tingling is really coming alive here. Okay. Easy. 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 Going sub-dimensional. So I'm inferring a finer dimension. Easy, open. There's a finer dimension. Hmm. The arm not only came up, but it, it seemed to have a long uh, length to it. And I think I mentioned once in my apartment in Tokyo, uh, playing with stuff like this, I used to, in energy, paint my walls. I paint my walls. So if I were right, I could feel something go to the walls and actually be there. It wasn't an idea. Oh, I'm painting my walls. 
but actually kind of feel it. So that's where that practice came from. Easy, easy. Last one, I think. Easy, easy. This whole thing has a sense of itself or its own identity. Like, if I said, would you like to practice energy healing on somebody? This level would say, oh, yes, great. It's, it's very alive. It wants to do something. Any comments before I sit down or while I'm sitting down? Subdimensional arm raise, was that okay? Anybody out there? Yep. Um, you, you know, you, you mentioned that you thought I got ahead, uh, but what was interesting was I had a balloon on the one before, so it was like I was one step ahead. So when you went to leaves, my balloon had already been there. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What Kenny's talking about is you all got to know this. When we start to practice like subdimensionality, that you're all starting from different places, okay? So it's not, so, uh, so if somebody says, oh my God, it's flowing, you may not be there yet, and you're lucky the arm comes up, okay? Uh, you're just two clicks behind, it's no big deal. As you continue, then you'll reach, oh, that's what he was feeling, and you'll feel what he felt. So always somebody's gonna be ahead or behind, always. Nothing wrong there. Start with where you start, but keep going through dimensions. Did I say that okay? This is very important because a lot of people may get turned off because everybody in class says, oh, wow, and they're not at the oh, wow place yet. Quite all right. Keep going, keep settling, keep opening, and you too will reach it. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay? So we start with where we start, and we don't start on the same line. You got it? It's okay. Start from where you start from. I told you the story. I'll tell you again. I used to practice. Uh, so in meditation, let's say I got to a good level. Okay. Got, whoops, different picture. Got to a good level. Okay. And I recognize that level. Uh, let's say it was the gold and the gold place. I just use that back in reference. Oh, the gold place. I really like that. I'm going to soak air. It mixes up character me with gold in the mix. Who am I now? Feeling yourself. Okay. Let's say that was really wow. That was real fun. And it's been going on for a week or something. I really like it. Then in Tokyo, easy to do. I'd go out and get drunk with the rest of the guys. Uh, a lot of drinking in those days. And then I'd come back home being drunk and I'd sit and see how long it could take me to get to the gold place. And what I found out was I could get there, but it took me longer. Why? Because I was further away by getting drunk. I could get there. It was still there, but I had moved out of it by getting drunk. It was there. It was always there where it was. And again, I thought that was fantastic. It was a constant. I didn't have that much constant in my life. It was a constant. It was always where it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyway. Oh, back to the hand. Kenny mentioned uh, seeing. Back to these these guys. Uh, Kenny mentioned seeing. What did you say, Kenny? Seeing lines? Uh, beams of light. Beams of light. Okay. Uh, thank you, because I meant to mention it. I forgot it. If you want to practice the beginnings of seeing energy, make sure the room is not too bright. I don't mean dark, but not too bright. And if possible, have a, a back. Uh, let's say this is a, a dark. It's not dark, but let's say this is a dark background. And you, you hang out till you're getting that. You can feel those things. And then you you allow your eyes to see. I, I, I'm trying to get you out of looking because those are too physical. Easy. 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 Okay. 
And as you let these back and forth, as your frequency of the eyes uh, changes to the dimension you're in, you begin to see lines of energy. Okay? So that's the beginning of seeing en energy, all right? Uh, again, some of you will be slower, some of you will be faster, but it's a settling down to where you're seeing at that dimensional level. Okay? Uh, what we used to do in the old days, uh, stuff like that, and then I'd have two uh, uh, people sit across from each other and just flow energy back and forth. We'd have a third person uh, who could then begin to see the energy uh, line, the energy beam, and they could start to see that. And I forgot what else we did. Noah, do you remember what else we did around those times with that? Yeah, we used to go in that ma massage room and we would uh, uh, flow energy back and forth between the hands of two people and look at it that way too. <clears throat> between people? Yeah, in other words, one hand up and another person's hand up and we kind of like what you're doing with your hands but between two people. Yeah. Okay, different uh, problems. Still looking for seeing practice. No, it's fine. Uh, what uh, you would uh, do with a practice, what he's talking about is, uh, I tend to flavor the right hand is positive, so it's on top, the left hand is receptive, so it's, and the person is doing the other way around. And we sit as, a, as partners, and after a bit, as we settle down and get into a finer dimension, we can feel this energy connection between the two of us. We're starting to share energy, okay? And I'm sure uh, Diane in Florida, who teaches uh, relationship practices, uh, has been doing that. She's not on tonight. She had her own show to do. Uh, but I, I would think that would be one of her major warm-up practices to have people realize there's an energy relationship at certain levels. Uh, and anyway, thank you. Uh, uh, Sensei, uh, I have a question. Yeah. If, yeah. Uh, so what if I'm a beginner and I don't see light and I listen to you saying, oh, okay. I'm energizing the hand, I'm energizing the shoulder, I'm energizing the back, but I don't get it yet. What process can you suggest to that beginner to get the first taste of these energies? you know, moving through the dimensions, through the, the parts of the body? Uh, Katja, do me a favor. Hand me that glass. Sorry, I should be able to get up. Hand, hand me that glass. If I heard you. Empty glass, huh? This is not empty, but have an empty glass. Sit and you settle and you reach and pick up the glass and put it over there. You sit and settle and you reach for the glass and you put it over there. And you just continue to sit and settle and continue to do that. And unless you're really thick, sorry, but there's some, then you begin to see that there was something before and, and, and gee, it, this feels, it, oh, it sounds like it's being carried. I'm talking about things that could happen after a bit. Just keep doing it. That's all I did, people. I would play games and hang out with them and experience them. Uh, you think I felt all this stuff at the get-go? Yeah, in some cases I did. But, but not this finer stuff that I do. I just played. I played. I hung out with it till, it till I continued to settle and it started to show more and more. It's not going to show for some people the first second. You play, you experience. I don't know what else to say there. I used to do dumb games. I actually did that game on my redwood table at Sleeper Avenue, and I would move that whatever it was, glass, back and forth. And things would begin to change. I forget what they are now, because that's 60 years ago or whatever. But things would begin to change. My sense of things and energy is beginning to show would eventually happen. Play. 
Flay, Flay. Thank if you, you tired that for half an hour, play for another half hour. Uh, you got to have some, I don't know, endurance? Uh, give me a word here. Uh, uh, perseverance. Perseverance. Persevere. Oh, Sensei was a hell of a perseverer. <laughs> he would just keep going at it till it clarified for him. <laughs> it wasn't like it was all handed to him on a silver spoon. He was good, but he had to persevere. He had to figure out stuff on his own. Uh, for a lot of you, it's a bit easier. I'm saying, hey, there's energy, and here's a rough idea of what it'll flavor like, and here's a rough idea of what it'll do at that level of it. Uh, I've made a lot of this easier. Uh, uh, I was told a little bit, but I had to play with it to get into the more and whatever. Uh, should be easier for you. We're telling you. What are we going to do? Spoon feed you? I'm sorry, I'm going to get bitchy at you here in a moment. Uh, we're not going to spoon feed you. If you're interested, you'll play. If you're not, you won't. Hey, que sera. What will be, will be. That's life. It's the human condition. Whatever. So we have a lot of words to cover that. <laughs> but if you're interested, you will persevere. You will open and do your best. There is something there. Please show for me. Sensei says, I, I have a sense there's something there. I'm going to sit and settle and open. I, I thought I sensed something, but I can't prove it. That's fine. Continue. Sit and settle and open and say, I hear there's something around. Could you show yourself to me? Whatever it may be. And you just hang out and hang out and hang out. You start to feel things and then you keep doing it the next day and the day after and you feel there's a pattern that's what i felt at first yesterday when i did this oh yeah that's what i felt uh this for my second catch yesterday and you begin to see there's a pattern hang out you do it and you persevere it's your it's, it's for you to do okay it's for you to do um Ah, thank you we're running out of time yeah thank you and we're would you like us would you like a short break um, and then more questions or you want to keep going now Is that i wish you? i had a few more minutes because there's another practice i wanted to do but and let me tell a quick story uh following uh one to two and two to three okay i used to play this game at esalen again i wasn't teaching i you know i don't think it 10, 12 years, only did one Aikido workshop. All the rest were awareness, energy, psychic, meditation, those kinds of things. One practice I really liked, had a big room and some big pillows. And we'd be in a circle, the group that was there for that week or weekend. And, and, and we would just start throwing the pillow. I forget what I would tell him. I wouldn't say much. Maybe uh, settle down, settle down, throw the pillow. I, I'd say something, but I can't remember what it was. And at first, some people throw the pillow in a dumb way, wouldn't even get across to the partner or to the rest of the group. But after a bit, they sort of start to get the feeling, meaning their bodies were starting to come into play, and their body with the pillow would start to move better. I didn't teach them how to do it. I, I would clue them with something settle or open or something i don't remember but that would begin to happen with after a bit everybody is throwing pretty good even the nun jocks were starting to throw pretty good okay and then it would get uh faster uh clearer uh uh they target better at first they throw it and god knows who they were throwing to and after a bit it'd be clearer who they were throwing to Okay, so the whole physical set got pretty good. And as we continued, we'd be moving from one to two, two to three. And we continue and things begin to happen uh, after two. For example, at the uh, earlier body level, if the pillow came by me, I'd grab it. Every, everybody would grab anything that got near them. But as they start to enter this 
second realm. I didn't explain realms or anything to them at that time, but it just naturally happened. And they get to a level where they could tell the pillow wasn't meant for them. It was meant for that person. And it'd be amazing to see somebody who was grabbing everything they could grab at first, suddenly being at this level and saying, oh, that's not for me. And the damn pillow, I'm sure as shit, would brush their nose. Oh, not for me. That person, going to that person. I thought that was wild. Then another thing that happened a bit earlier was if for some reason in that circle of people, if somebody was left out, they weren't throwing the pillow to them, uh, that the group would sort of catch that. We didn't say anything. The group would catch it and suddenly somebody would go, oh, a Charlie over there. No one's throwing to him, so they would throw to him. And then you'd notice a couple other people uh, throwing to Charlie to bring him more into the fold. So there was this natural inclusion in the group happening. I didn't say anything. I didn't say, hey, people, Charlie's not getting the ball. They would naturally do it. And the group would participate, bring him up with everyone else. Okay? And... You begin to see things like uh, at this more energy level, you'd actually see as the pillow uh, was thrown across, you'd like see an energy stream. So it was clearly going to that person. You see the stream of energy or sense it, okay? I'm not a good aura seer. I can sense the energies, but I'm not an aura seer. So there are different levels of what you pick up, okay? Uh, what else was that ball throwing? I uh, just how, and I did that all, with many groups for years, and always the same pattern. They get more squared away in their body, physically throw it better, uh, and then those uh, inclusions would naturally happen, and those, uh, uh, it's not mine, it's his. They weren't grabbing everything would happen. Oh, one thing that did happen, though, usually the, the couple of guys, and when they got close to this level, a couple of guys would start suddenly, we're going from a basic throw, okay? That's what we've been doing, that basic throw. And suddenly, they get cute, they're a little bit wild, they're a little fancy. Huh, what the hell are they doing? We're, we established this is a throw. And they were suddenly getting weird with it. I think they were getting close to the next dimension, which has a lot more energy. And they were being affected by the energy. So instead of opening to the energy, they were affected by it. And that's when they started getting cute. Is that, is that okay? Did I say that? Do you, do you find that in Aikido dojos as well, Sensei? Of course. Unfortunately, I reached a certain level. Now, instead of going inner, I'm going to do more variations. Nothing wrong with variations, but who's doing it for what reason? Let's do more. Or Aikido isn't good in the fighting art. Let's uh, practice kicking. Now, let's practice punching. Let's do groundwork. Let's be a jujitsu. We already got a jujitsu. You want to do jujitsu? Go do jujitsu. We're Aikido. We're supposed to be an interdimensional development. So when you see people going off that way, say, oh my God, they've taken this beautiful art that Osensei presented and they're turning it into the human model. <laughs> Don't get me going here. I'll, I'll get bitchy. <laughs> so yes, unfortunately, I do see it. Ah, okay. I'm sort of finishing up here. Do you want to talk, anybody? Open mic? Anything, anything? <clears throat> <clears throat> well, I noticed, uh, not too surprising, but um, my shoulders actually, uh, I've got an injured shoulder, but as we, you know, got into the uh, more body, more dimensions, my shoulder was fine moving. You know? Okay, great. Everyone heard what Kenny said? Yeah? You got yeah. open mic, right? Okay. Uh, at 
physical level, it hurts. Okay, uh, following Kenny's story, uh, this was happened to me. I had a major rotator cuff tear. It was major. The doctor said it filled the rip, filled the whole screen. Whatever you're looking at, it was major. And I had a physical therapist who was a student, and uh, you know, it's kind of arm. You can't put your jacket on. Uh, you damn well can't pour coffee. It's horrible. Uh, but I would settle into another dimension and do things with my arm in class. And he'd say, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Well, see, I couldn't do that in the physical realm, just like Kenny said. But in a finer realm, uh, certain aches and pains don't exist in the finer realm. So, yeah, Kenny, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I don't know how far that could go, but but he noticed it. I definitely noticed it. Uh, that in a better dimension, I can do things uh, that earlier hurt, but in a finer dimension, stop hurting. Okay? Cool. Uh, if it's only worked at that level, that's great in itself. It shows you that a finer level is better. You can move your shoulder. Wow. It just clues you into a direction. So again, I don't know how far that can go. Uh, and I have a totally dislocated arm and move it beautifully. I don't know. I've never gone that far. Who cares? Just going from physical, it hurts, to a little more energy. Hey, it's not hurting anymore. Boom. Pointing out a direction. Somehow, let's continue. Somebody, I'm finishing up. What you got? It's Mike Sensei. Um, so, well, really extension of, of Kenny's story, um, but with both my knees, um, the difference between um, doing it physically and doing it with proper preparation in terms of standing, your exercise of, of standing from the chair, I find incredibly yeah. helpful because when I do oh, it yeah. without thought. Well, you're, you're coming up from the knees that are bad already. If anything, I, you're... You're damaging them more. Yep. Okay. Yeah. No, and and the difference is energy that supports the knees. You got a chance. Now I don't know if they're going to get cured or whatever, but yeah, there's a good good example of a different dimension. Uh, helps take care of certain things. Go ahead. You weren't finished. Go ahead. Oh uh, well, and then extending that to that I have step, steps between the two buildings that that I live in, and that's a really major one. If I if I don't prep before going up the stairs yeah. the possibility of falling is actually quite quite yeah. real uh, so that's what i said remember when i said uh that this is not just for athletes okay that a sense of this uh helps uh even to deal with steep stairs or dealing with old age or dealing with injuries uh it's not just for jumps but it's for daily living kind of thing in many, many, many ways. So yeah. Somebody, anything? Yell out or I'm gonna go get my wine. Somebody? No? I'll go, Sensei. Yeah. Uh, so in my experience, uh, uh, this is Yoshika. Um, in my experience of going through dimensions, you know, um, a lot of times you portray it as a, um, you know, a wonderful experience, which it is. Um, but also from personal experience, I found that sometimes it's difficult, right, to go in, um, uh, to, to stay in, right? Sometimes you just kind of want to be wild. Uh, so one particular experience was, um, you know, I, I found the good in, let's say, the second dimension, but I'm, you know, I feel a, a pull to go to the third dimension, but I'm also very hesitant to let go of the good that I in, enjoy in that second dimension. Okay. The pull should clue you in. One trick that I use there uh, is sort of, I don't know, my own personal honesty. Uh, so I feel the pull. But I uh, continue for a couple of more beats or a couple of more full experiences of, let's call that the two zone. You can say feeling a pull to go three. Okay. That I feel the pull, but I, I pause uh, or I don't go for it yet. I make sure I'm fuller in the two. 
fuller in the two, and then I move into the three. Uh, I'm not totally sure why I do that. I find it to be a good honesty factor. Uh, maybe one reason is when you get sort of fair in the two, not full, but fair, that you might get a preview. I, I, I call it where you begin to, to get a sense of three. I call that a preview. Doesn't mean you're supposed to go there. It's, you, you, you're just getting a preview of what it might be like, but stay with the two till you get fuller to move into the three fuller. So anyway, that's a little trick that I use. I don't just immediately feel the pull and go. Because uh, I'm a little bit of a pusher, is more my style, or maybe I'm more of a pauser, I'm not sure anymore. Uh, but just to be honest, and to do it right, I make sure I'm full, and then I I, I follow the, the pull. Okay. The tree. Yeah. Yes, thank you. That, that helps. Um, yeah. Anybody jump in now? I'm finishing. It's uh, Mike again, Sensei. The other yeah. um, exercise that um, I find useful that, that you've given us is also that the whole business of being in the right lineage for the activity that you're doing. Yeah. And again, with the stairs, before I start to climb them, because they're quite long stairs, um, uh -huh. it's, you know, saying, right, now, now I am the stair climber. And, yeah. and consciously bringing that into my awareness uh, definitely improves yeah. my ability to then climb the stairs. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No, I, I, I always like that one when there's a long flight of stairs. It, first of all, reminding me I could do a practice even within that couple of moments. And to be able to do it full and fast, uh, settle open and let it mix up the stair walker. After a while, you get pretty fast at it. I don't mean sloppy. I don't mean, oh, yeah, I know how to do that. I mean, really, but you get faster at this whole thing. You know, so we're going one click, sub, two, sub, three, sub, four, sub. But once you got that down, you go, hey, and be pretty damn full there. But you know all the parts have been covered. You can feel them. So you get faster. I call that checkers. Game of checkers. You move one move, one square at a time, one square at a time, one square at a time. After you get the feeling of those, uh, a bunch of those squares, they king you. And now the king can go, zoom, zoom. So I call that checkers. But do, uh, in some cases, especially at one and two, do have a feeling for the subs. That what we, that's what we did today, have a feeling for them. When you get into a four to five, I, I'm not sure how much you want to play with subs, but at least know that there's a lot going on. And your first impression of a four, following it out, of a, a four, uh, you should know. Well, that's my first impression, but now what's the more of the flavor of it. What, what if I were to hang out here for a long period of time? Or what if I had sat here in this for my whole lifetime? What, where would I be? Who would I be? What would be here? Uh, so you could even game-wise pick up the pace there. Uh, but just to know by doing this, that when you get into others where you may not, may not feel like you have to do the subs, that at least you know by having done these that there's a lot more going on in the in the four to five than than what you first perceive. Just just by doing these subs, let you know how much is going on. Something like that. Don't know if I said it great. Thank you, Sensei. And yeah. I, I think that yeah. uh, we're coming right up upon eight o'clock. I don't know I, if you have any final things you want to say? I don't think so. I think for me, not too bad. I think it was okay for you guys. Um, yeah. Fini. Fini. Thank, so. you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. And we're adjourned. Great, Thank great you. session, Sensei. Thank you very much. Where do we go? Me, please, or least Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. Ciao. Good night.